Good morning, fourth grade. This is the experiment that comes with the Birth of Rocks, Mystery 3, where they talk about the weathering of rocks, which could be from roots or from ice. But in this case, they show you, and you are welcome to look at that on the video, uh, rocks rolling down a hill and what might happen to the rocks. So instead of using rocks for the science experiment, they use sugar cubes. And because you don't all come from England and you don't all have tea with little cubes in it, I bought these and I thought I could show you. So you don't have to go out and buy these sugar cubes, although this is a fun experiment. So the first thing it says to do is to draw in section one what you think the cube looks like here. And if you'll notice, it is very square. It is very much a cube, right? So when I draw it, I'm going to make it look like a cube. It has sharp edges. Then it says, you're going to guess what the sugar cube will look like after you shake it inside of a plastic container for 200 times. So I think that it's gonna be rounded and look more like almost a marble than it is a uh, cube. It asks us to count how many edges there are in the cube. So that would be here, and this is, um, this is a math lesson. So here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 edges. So I write down 12 edges. The best part now is the experiment. So it says to take two cubes and to color them. Now the one cube is going to be the, look at me, nothing happened to me cube. The other one is gonna get weathered. So I'm gonna color all the edges and I'm gonna use, if you get to do this at home, do not use a permanent marker, use um, one of the markers that uh, is water soluble. Although we're not gonna put any water on this, that would make a terrible mess. Or maybe it would make Kool-Aid, I don't know. All right, so I colored the edges and I'm gonna pop that dude into my container. Then it says to put, all together we have five cubes. It says to take the other cube and color it. I suppose that's so we can see what it looks like if it doesn't get wet. So I'm using the blue turquoise because I like it better than pink and I want it to stay perfect. Silliness is mine. All right, we're gonna do this and then we're gonna leave this here to look at as a comparison or a contrast. Remember what that means? Compare means the same as or similar to and contrast means different from. Something will be different besides just the color. So here's my cube. And then it says to add three more cubes. These are just regular sugar cubes, but something's gonna to happen to them too. So all together I have four cubes inside of my plastic container. A bigger or a smaller container doesn't matter too much, but it needs to be able to move around, right? Then it says trial one. This is the great part. There's a bunch of trials, so if you were with a partner, you would get to take turns. It says to shake this 40 times, okay? So I'm gonna count and it's gonna make a little noise. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. And it says to open up your container and what you'll notice is there is some residua or some stuff there, right? And if you look at your colored cube, you can see it on all of the cubes, but if you look at your colored cube, the question is the shape of the cube and how many edges still have color. So one edge here doesn't have color. One edge here doesn't have color. I think one, two, three edges don't have color. So if I take three away from the 12, nine eight edges still have color. And I would say that there's some rounding on some of the edges, right? Now, if you were doing this with a partner, it would be their turn to shake. But I'm all by myself with Mrs. Danner helping me. So I'm gonna put my colored one back in 
with the three that have no color, and I'm going to shake them, not one, not 10, but 40 times again. And then I'm going to see what happens to the edges. That's what we're looking at, the edges. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. From 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. From 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. From 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. Now, you're guessing there's going to be a lot more sand or sugar. But look, there is, but not so much. This time there's less for whatever reason. I don't know why. Now I'm looking at my sugar cube that got colored originally, and it says how many have lost color. So I have color on one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five sides only now. Five sides only. Wow. Things are right. Going there's back. more rounding, meaning that the edges are going away and things are getting rounder. But not totally round. Remember, I'm I'm not finished yet, right? I put everything back in there and switch jobs. Oh wait, I get to do the whole thing. I'm gonna do it 40 times. Are we ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. All right. This is phase three, and you will see there's some sand or sugar, and these are all starting to round. And when you look at this one, you can see that there are still one, two, three, four, five areas that have color, but the rounding is getting more, right? So sometimes it doesn't do as much. So there's still five color sides and there is a little more rounding. Sounds like I'm doing math, doesn't it? All right. My three regular guys still look like sugar cubes, really. This one is more round, but they're all sugar cubes, okay? So I have 40 plus 40 plus 40. That's 120, right? I need it 200, so I gotta keep going. 40 more. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. That was almost a cheater, wasn't it? All right. This is the fourth time, and all of these guys are getting rounded. Oh, and this time there's hardly any color on this side. So now there's one, two, three, four sides that have color. So um, I'm going to write more rounding because I'm boring. And I'm going to say four sides have color. Because Mrs. Marsh sort of made a mistake and put color right there. And on the flat part, there is less friction. You all know about friction because we talked about that in reading, right? So there's less friction there, so this still remains strong, whereas the edges are getting affected. All right. This, that should be 160, so I should do 40 more and see how many more uh, round, uh, colors can go away. Are you ready? Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Now we've pretended that our um, rocks have gone all the way down the hill. Let's see what happens. Whoa, I have to turn it this way in order to see that this is my colored one because the edges, now there are two, three edges that have color. Now, if I kept doing this for another 200 times, I bet you know what would happen. 
more and more would be weathered away or worn away by the friction of our plastic container. So now I just have three edges that have color and it says after I've done five trials of 40, what will my uh, sugar cube look like? And my sugar cube here looks a lot, oh, I took this guy away, how rude, looks a lot like it's a dome. There's still a side that's pretty much a rec uh, cube, but the dome side makes you realize that there has been some weathering, yes? Then it asks you to compare the drawing that you made, guesstimating what would happen, to what actually happened when you did the experiment. I thought it would be more rounded. So my actual drawing will be more like a dome rather than a uh, marble. Then on the next page, it asks you what happened to the sugar cubes when they bashed together in the container. How are they different from the one you didn't shake? Right? What happened to them? Weathering happened, right? Friction against the edges caused the edges to become more rounded whereas the one that we didn't do anything to but color has very sharp edges still, and it's a total cube. Then it says, when you take the sugar cubes out of the container, what is left in the container? Mrs. Marsh poured that out every time, right? There was, and I tried to see if at the beginning there was more. What you can notice is at the beginning there was more color. So there was more happening at the beginning than later on, but in every one there's still a little bit of pink, which is the color that was on our sugar cube. So all of this is, mmm, taste it, sugar, granulated sugar, right? And where does it come from? It comes from the sugar cube being rounded. What do you think would happen if you shook rocks instead of sugar cubes? Well, what would be left would not be called granulated sugar. What would be left would be called sand, right? And if you want to try this with rocks, you need to look for rocks uh, that are not just any rock because any rock won't work. Mrs. Marsh went up to the high mountains and I got these rocks. These are called granite. And I picked some that had sharp points. Right? What they show in the video is that the sharp pointed rocks are at the top of the mountain and the rounded rocks are at the bottom because of all the friction and weathering that happens to them as they come to the bottom of the mountain. Okay? So if I took these and put them in a larger plastic container and shook them, I would end up with some sand. But I think this will give you the idea. So if you have a chance to go and have a little tea, and have a little sugar cube, you can try this. But now you know what would happen. So you can add this to your information when you write about Birth of Rocks, Mystery 3, Weathering.